black business card. That's a Pulse 1 on a 15 watt UV laser. That's Pulse 5 on a 15 watt laser. Which is weaker. Save material. And this is just raw aluminum. and a Pulse 5 on a 15 watt laser, kind of simulating what a 10 watt would do versus a 15 watt. So there's that on um, just raw aluminum. And if you wanted it black, you could put some Cerakote on it. Exact same settings, the only thing changed was the uh, the focus height of the head. This is with a Filtech laser. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. <coughs> and this is a 15 watt UV. Cross hack 0 0.04, frequency 60, volts 1. And the other one is kind of simulating a 10 watt. I think a 10 watt may be a good gift. Uh, with two pulse of five. Again, this is a 15 watt laser, so this is kind of simulating what a uh, what I think a 10 watt would do. The only difference in these two is the two pulse. So let's see if there's any difference. You the wipe off. Get my glasses off so I can see. They both look good. That's when I messed up with the uh, fiber laser I cut all the way through. Oops. And that was me testing for parameters. And there you go. That's the uh, uh, the whole tan. UV laser on anodized aluminum and what I do with it. And there is the just regular aluminum, not anodized. You're not gonna get much depth, if any, with the UV laser. Alright, this is the fiber laser, it's a hundred watt from Hoatan. Uh, it is a Filtech laser. Kind of irrelevant in this particular circumstance, but anyway, the exact same test, and I'll try to be fast. All right, so the first one is like small depth. That's like at 50% power, just to put it in context. And then the other one's at 100% power, so there's a marked difference between the two. Um, let's get it. That's 50% power, which is half of 100 watts. 
And this was on a, uh, I don't know, some anodized or painted business card, but. bit much. Alright, so there's that. And that one is, we'll lay it here. Since we did UV first, we'll put that on top. And then there's the fiber on the bottom. Compare the two on a business card. Obviously, that was way too much power. Alright, so now the exact same test. Preview. And mark. This is the setting I use for anodized aluminum. Use. That one's got a little bit of depth, very little, and that one's got tremendous, well I say tremendous, it's got substantial depth. Um, didn't ask for it, but I'm gonna do it again. Preview. I'm gonna run both of them two times. And here we go. Way too much, way, way too much, obviously. If we can get some light, that's better. Let's try more light, see if that'll help. Oh, did that help or hurt? There's a side-by-side -side comparison. It's just too much light. That's two passes. Well, actually four because I did a cross hatch. That's two. Could use a little bit more power on this one and it would have been perfect, I think. And of course that's UV, which is really nice. All right, same test. And the point is, is, sometimes you can get too much power. I ate all the way through that. And now we've got another one here. I'm gonna try to combine this into one. Uh, preview real geometry, preview. That ain't what I want. I don't want real geometry. I want just a preview to square. All right, turn the preview off. Change my s number of times down to just one. Click off. Uh, don't need that. Get out there. Um, I do need to adjust my, my focus height. So hang on a second. I did have to move my piece, so let me realign that. Select uh, that. 
preview. Alright, so now this is anodized, anodized aluminum. The first one should be what I think I recommend. And then max power, because I get out know, the purpose of this demonstration. But anyway, um, let's do it. Let's do it. And this is 3000 speed, 50% uh, power. And obviously that's way too much. settings for doing anodized aluminum to look good and not necessarily have too much depth. Um, I don't see no reason in doing anything different. So, here's where we ended up. UV on business card, strongest mark, a weaker mark, simulate maybe a 10 watt laser, uh, and 10 watts adequate. Um, this is the fiber laser, uh, they're backwards of course. This is half power, 50 actual watts, and this one's actually 100 watts. Um, same thing here, this is the UV, stronger mark, UV, weaker mark. This is the fiber, uh, with those same settings. And then of course these has got some depth to it, and that's 100% power. And to the anodized aluminum wallets, this is Pulse 1 on a 15 watt. This is simulating what I think a 10 watt UV laser would look like. And of course this is, the, where's that? This is the fiber laser uh, at 50%, which is 50 actual watts. And that's 100 watts, which I knew was too much, but I don't know what you were actually looking for as far as the test. Again, this has real good texture. And this has, just can tell it's there on the field. And obviously you can go anywhere in between. And this one has minimal texture. And I can't say I feel that one. But it'll last. But this right here is good. Or you could have just decreased your line interval and it got a little, a little more depth and slowed down. So there's my test comparing a, uh, a 15 watt UV laser to a uh, 100 watt Mopa fiber laser from Pasco Lewis.